Day 2, the infamous and respectable Earth Million creature, based off the Earth monster beings from Alberts. The sky is filled with Earth Million Warriors, Godzilla, King Ghidorah, and other terrifying creatures as they clash with the relentless SCP-682. As Battle Ray John, it became clear that SCP-682 was not just holding its own against the Hellish Monsters, but it was actually adapting to the same degree. If one skin skin began to harden and transform, its palms grew sharper and more deadly, and its eyes glowed with a fierce animation. With a deadly lore, SCP-682 went forward, slicing its tiny parade through ranks of the Hellbirds monsters. Its movement was very precise, leaving a trail of destruction in the creek. Godzilla tried to unleash it without breath, but SCP-682 simply shredded off, its adaptive abilities allowing it to withstand the most powerful attacks. One by one, the monsters fell before SCP-682 to the level's onslaught. King Ghidorah's heads were severed, Mothra's wings were torn apart, and only fiery breath was extinguished. The once fearsome creatures of the Hellbirds were no match for the unstoppable force of SCP-682. As the dust settled on the last of the monsters that defeated the feet, SCP-682 let out a triumphant roar. It had blown itself from the open predator, adapting and evolving to overcome any challenges to its way. And as it stood victorious amidst the wreckage of the fallen foes, SCP-682 designed to leave with a primal hunger. For in this chaotic battle of monsters, it emerged as a true king of the Halvers. 2. The infamous and destructible Arthurian creature, based off of the monster beings from the Halvers. The sky was filled with living wars of creatures as they clashed in battle of proportions. The first challenger to step forward was King Ghidorah, the three-headed dragon known for its destructive power. With a mighty roar, King Ghidorah unleashed a barrage of energy beams at SCP-682, but to everyone's surprise, the creature simply shrugged off the attack. In response, SCP-682's eyes glowed with a fierce determination that it began to adapt to dragon's attacks. With each passing moment, SCP-682's scales began to harden and its claws were sharper. It was as if the creature was evolving right before their eyes. In a sudden burst of speed, SCP-682 lunged forward and began to relentlessly slice and stab at King Ghidorah, leaving deep gushes in its scales. The other monsters watched in horror as SCP-682 continued its onslaught, with movement to become more fluid and precise with each strike. It was clear that the creature was no longer just adapting to its opponents, but actually seeking out their weaknesses and exploiting them with deadly efficiency. The next challenge at SCP-682 was Mothra, the giant mob like creature numbered mystical powers. But even Mothra's dazzling light beams and crazy scales were no match for SCP-682's newfound abilities. The creature's eyes glowed with a fierce determination as it launched itself at Mothra, turning to its wings with ease. As the battle raged on, the ground shook with force of their clashes. The other monsters tried to band together to take down SCP-682, but it was no use. The creature had become a force of nature, from level force of destruction that could not be stopped. In the end, SCP-682 stood victorious, with body covered in the blood of the fallen foes. The other monsters lay feet to the feet, their once fierce informed now nothing more than lifeless husks. As dust settled, SCP-682 let out a triumphant roar, its eyes gleaming with a primal satisfaction. It had pulled itself from the open predator, being of unmatched power and ferocity. And as it turned to leave the battlefield, the other monsters knew that they had faced force unlike any they had ever encountered before. But as SCP-682 had always been forced to be ready with, the one faced off against Enmay, Perdue, and Comfort in the Godzilla, the battle reached a whole new level of intensity. The Enmay Godzilla roared with fury, unleashing powerful energy beams from its mouth, while the cartoon Godzilla used its immense size and strength to try and overpower SCP-682. The Comfort in Godzilla, with its sharp claws and teeth, turned prey, determined to take down the formidable creature. But SCP-682 was not the underestimated. As the battle raged on, the reptile began to adapt to the same degree, using its unusual long and braided tail and claws to stab, pierce, and slice part of the version of Godzilla that suited light. The ground shook with the boards of their clashes, building tumbled on the weight of their blows, and the sky was filled with the sounds of their roars and screams. SCP-682 grew in power with each passing moment, his eyes glowing when the fierce determination to emerge victorious. The anime, cartoon, and comic versions of Godzilla fought violently, but they were no match for the level's onslaught of SCP-682. One by one, they felt the creature's deadly attacks, their bodies torn and broken by the razor-sharp claws. As the last version of Godzilla lay defeated at defeat, SCP-682 let out a triumphant roar, with power and adaptability unmatched. It had proven itself being the ultimate predator, a force of nature that could not be stopped. And as it stood victorious amid the wreckage of the battle, SCP-682 knew that it would continue to grow in power, to death and evolve, ready to face any challenge against life. The monster reptile was a force to be reckoned with, a creature of unstoppable strength and ferocity, and nothing could stand in flight. SCP-682 and Ultimate Godzilla was nothing short of it. The two titans clashed with force that shook the earth beneath them. SCP-682, known for its incredible adaptability and resilience, was facing off against Ultimate Godzilla, a powerful creature from another dimension. As the fight raged on, SCP-682 began to adapt to an insane degree. Its body started to grow and change, its resistance increasing with each passing moment. Ultimate Godzilla, setting the fact that SCP-682 posed, unleashed its true form, a sight that struck fear into the hearts of all witnesses. But SCP-682 was not being done. As Ultimate Godzilla increased in power, SCP-682 mapped it, growing in strength and abilities without limit. The two creatures clashed with ferocity that was unmatched, their roars echoing across the battlefield. As the battle reached its climax, SCP-682 unleashed its true form, a sight that was both terrifying and awe-inspiring. Its power seemed to know no bounds, its abilities reaching levels that were beyond comprehension. Ultimate Godzilla, realizing that it was losing foe unlike any it had encountered before, unleashed its own true form, a display of power that shook the very fabric of reality. The two creatures continued to clash, their power and strength seemingly endless. The battle raged on, each blow shaking the very foundation of the earth. And as this settled, it was clear that neither SCP-682 nor Ultimate Godzilla will emerge from this battle unscathed. In the end, the two creatures stood facing each other, their bodies battered and broken, but their spirits are broken. The battle had been fierce, but in the end, there could be only one victor. And as the sun set on the battlefield, it was clear that SCP-682 and Emerge victorious, with power and abilities unmatched by any creature that had dared to challenge it. The battle between SCP-682 and Ultimate Godzilla had been set in the hole, a clash of titans that would be remembered for generations to come. And as the two creatures stood facing each other, their eyes locked in a silent challenge, it was clear that this was not the last time they would need a battle. 